guys and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here and welcome to the first daily vlog and then it's just snapping right here i'm crocheting it is friday may 22nd i am 37 weeks today and uh we are 14 days away from induction day if you watched yesterday's video you know that i have an induction scheduled for june 5th so ashlyn will be here by june 5th which is so crazy exactly two weeks from today 14 days until i go in for induction and that's if she stays in that long i hope she at least stays in long enough for us to get someone here to to watch London uh, but yeah you also know that I am already three centimeters dilated which is also crazy and a little worrisome to me I guess just because I'm so stressed out about like if I end up going into labor too soon like I'm technically term I'm early term at 37 weeks like Odds are baby would be absolutely fine if she was born this early, but I don't want her to come too early because we need to have someone here to watch London so I don't have to go to the hospital alone. So yeah, I'm just hoping she stays in there a little bit longer. We are in communication with Christopher's grandma still. I still don't know what exactly was going on. She said she would see whenever I first brought it up to her and then we told her the date yesterday and she thought that it would be fine that her coworker was, she said she knew that her coworker was taking a day off or taking a week off sometime in June. She just wasn't sure when, but she then came back again and said that she thinks it was the end of June. So we thought we would be all in the clear for her to take off of work for about a week to come up here. But we found out today that her coworker is actually taking off the same week that we would need his grandma to take off to come up here. So she is supposed to talk to her coworker and see if there's any way that her coworker could reschedule because we don't really have much wiggle room. We can't really reschedule because we can't make it any earlier because, um, I just said because so many times. We can't make it any earlier. The hospital will not do an elective induction before 39 weeks. And I mean, honestly, I wouldn't really either because you know, I don't I wouldn't want to force baby out that early. So, I can't make my induction any sooner, and I don't feel comfortable making it any later either because I'm already so paranoid that I'm going to go into labor before my induction day. So she's gonna see if there's any way her coworker can like swap weeks with her so that she can still come and we're waiting to hear back from her on a more final answer because she's kind of like our main option as of now. She's supposed to let us know by this evening if and when she would be here. I've been telling Christopher that I would feel more comfortable if she came up uh, at least a few days before the 5th that way we would have her here just in case anything happened but it's obviously up to what she can do but like I said she's pretty much our main option because it's just easier for her she's like one of the only people London has ever warmed up to and she doesn't have other kids and stuff to worry about. All of her kids are grown. I mean, all of her grandkids are grown. She's on to great grandchildren, so she doesn't have to worry about that kind of thing. And she makes this trip quite a lot. She's used to it. She knows what it's like. It's a lot easier for her to take time off of work. So she's our best bet right now on having someone to watch London. And she is nine hours away. It's why I planned this induction because we needed to like try and make sure that someone was here. Because besides that, 
my grandma is having surgery the day before I'll be induced. So she's going to be in the hospital herself in South Carolina. And then there's my mom who I've been talking to, but my mom has six kids at home. And she mentioned something about her husband have, has a job to do that week. I don't know if that's still true, but like I said, they have six kids and four of which would not be allowed to come. I don't want to sound like mean when I say that, but with everything going on, I want as least people here possible. And all four of the big kids here in the house, it would just be a mess. They'd be loud, they'd be rowdy. They like to get into stuff. And they like to go through people's things and I'm not comfortable with that and I just don't want that many people especially younger kids around London risking getting London sick around us risking getting us sick and then around a newborn whenever Ashlyn comes home definitely don't I just don't want that so if my mom came she would have to be able to find babysitters for her own kids back home and she would still have to bring my youngest brothers um, who are four and two. And their vehicles also aren't really equipped to make a nine hour drive. So it would just be a lot more complicated planning to have her here. It's still an option, but we have to wait and see what his grandma says first before we move forward with trying to find anyone else. Because besides that, they're isn't anyone else to ask to come up here to stay with us to watch London while I'm in the hospital which really sucks and is very nerve-wracking for me anyways that is just me filling you in on what is going on right now and I'll keep you guys updated as we find out more stuff of course like I'll be letting you know what's going on every day this, since I'll be vlogging. Christopher is not here. He left this morning to go help out a friend of his. They're going and cutting down a tree. I don't know. So he's off helping his friend. He should be coming home soonish, hopefully. I told him I'd like to have him home by 2 and it's 1.45. But I haven't heard about, like, if he'll be done anytime soon. I know they're definitely not any way near done with actually cutting the tree down, but he kind of needs to come home because we have a FedEx package coming today that he has to sign for. I cannot sign for it because I'm not 21. So he has to sign for it. They already tried to, to deliver it yesterday, but we were at my doctor's appointment. So we missed them yesterday and had to reschedule for today. Don't want to miss them again. So he needs to get home I have no idea what time they're going to come. It could be any moment now. Because <laughs> yesterday they came sometime after 12.30. But before 4, I think. So it's getting pretty close to when they might be coming. <laughs> uh, so he needs to be home for that. But also, he needs to come home because we are doing something with London. Um... It's over there <laughs> on the banister. I, a couple weeks ago, thought of this idea that I wanted to do where it's like an advent calendar, like how you would do at Christmas time, but instead of counting down to Christmas, we're counting down to her baby sister being born. So we've got 14 days worth of gifts up there for London. <laughs> it sounds a little crazy, but I just thought it would be something like cool to do in a way to kind of like include her in things and stuff like that. So up there on the banister, there are 14 days worth of gifts. And every day she's gonna open a gift counting down until Ashlyn is born. And it's exactly enough to go until my induction date. And if she comes before then, then we'll just have to do something with the rest of the days, I don't know. But they're numbered and once Christopher gets here, we're gonna let her open up her first gift. Well, London is awake now. 
It is 3.45 and Hi. Christopher is still not home yet. I haven't heard from him in a minute. Um, FedEx hasn't come yet, but I'm sure they will be soon. She keeps messing with Cleo and Cleo's trying to nap. I'm literally so tired. I had to change our daily schedule, like move it up an hour because I have more stuff to do now that I'm taking on daily vlogging. So I had to start getting up at nine instead of 10 and I just like moved London's nap up and just a bunch of stuff like that. But I'm not changing bedtime. So like I'm putting an extra hour into my day and I was already tired enough. And this morning I got woken up before my alarm ever even went off. Like I was woken up at like eight to 8.30, the dogs were being loud and crazy and it was hot and I couldn't be comfortable. I was really uncomfortable this morning. My back was hurting pretty bad. So I tried to go back to sleep, but the dogs just would not stop getting on my nerves. Like every morning, all I can hear is them licking themselves and it drives me insane. And I just kept trying to go back to sleep and then the dog woke London up. So that was done with. So I tried to just chill in bed because I didn't want to get up before nine and mess up my schedule because then I would just have too much free time with nothing to do, which is where I'm at now anyways. So I tried to stay in bed till nine, but I had to get up and get the dogs outside. And then once I get up out of bed, I might as well just start the day. So I started breakfast and you know, did all that stuff, edited and uploaded my video for the day and then just cleaned did lunch nap time blah 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 and now it's late afternoon and i have nothing to do and i just want to sleep but i can't You've been waiting all day to open your present. Then open. Ow! I hurt my titty nipple. Open your present. Where's your present at? You gotta find the one that has a 14 on it. Which one has 14? You don't know that. It's right there though. Hey, you see that blue bag? London, look up here. <laughs> London, look. Look, you see that blue bag? Look up, you see that blue bag up there? Grab the blue bag. Get the blue bag. Yeah. Go get it. Go get it. Get the blue bag. It's up there. Grab the blue bag up there. Grab the blue bag. Blue. What color is that? What color? 
Get what it. What color is that? What color is this? Blue? Green. Grab it. Get it. There you go. That's for you. Take it to mommy. Sit down. Sit right there. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Sit and open Sit it. Sit down and get it. What's in the bag? Look, it says 14 days. What's in it? 14 get days it. until your sister. Candy. <laughs> what? Is there more in there? Looks kind of heavy. There's something else in that bag. Candy. Keep going in the look bag. Look in the bag. London, look in the bag. There's more. Hey, look in there. There's more in there. What else is in there? What? What is it? What is it? <gasps> what is that? Candy. Candy? Yeah, it is. You got candy. Can you say 14? <laughs> Watch it. No, it doesn't go back up there. No. No, 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 no. You're going to knock it down. Away. It's trash. You, that's presents for other days. You don't put that one back up there. You keep that one. Candy. Whoa. Can I ask Daddy what the plan is now then? What? Why are you head bobbing with the candy? What plan? She said that she's gonna be here a few days early. A few days early, that doesn't really tell me much. The 30th, eight days. Mm. Next Saturday. But she's gonna be staying in Eurexville until the 4th. Unless she comes earlier. Yeah. She'll be here the 30th. So you gotta last eight days at least. <laughs> that still feels like too long. Of course you're gonna get the mindset and you're gonna go and labor tomorrow. I'm trying not to have that mindset. I'm trying to keep the mindset of no, she's gonna wait. But it's hard for me to not obsess over everything. Mommy has to cook dinner. Put them back. I want to eat the dinner, but I don't want to cook the dinner. What? Quesadillas. Don't worry, I don't want to cook that one either. McDonald's it is. Deal. <laughs> but you have to go get it. Nope. <laughs> Ex I'll stay here with her and you go get it. For real, on the strength. I'm tired of driving, I'm tired of being gone. Do you think McDonald's would even be open at seven in the morning? Are they back to regular hours yet? I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think they are yet. I mean, they might be, but you have to check. I really want quesadillas. Uh, just don't want to cook. No, get McDonald's. <laughs> I picked up our McDonald's. So we're about to eat this for dinner and then just chill until bedtime, pretty much. I just have to do my 37 week bump clip for my bump progression and then take a bath and go to bed, pretty much at this point. This filled our fries everywhere and did not fill them worth crap. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. We're gonna eat our dinner okay. and then go to bed, like I said, after we chill for a bit, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe to the channel before you go if you have not already, and I'll see you tomorrow.